Hey guys, welcome back to another Dress to Impress video. Today, I have got so much exciting news to share about the Halloween update. We've been getting so many sneak peeks for the past month, and in this video, I'm going to show you everything we know so far. Let's get right into it. The Halloween update is coming out very soon, either on the 12th or 19th of October, which is right around the corner and super exciting. First, let's talk about the three new game passes we are getting. With the first pass, we're getting an upgrade where you can wear 24 items instead of 18. I've been waiting for this feature forever, and Zach mentioned it will cost around 100 to 150 Robux, which I think is worth it if you play this game a lot. And a lot of people in the community are upset that this is a paid feature, but it's paid because if everyone could wear 24 items, the game would be really laggy. Next, we're getting a two times money pass, so you'll be able to earn double the DTI cash, making it so much easier to buy all the new clothes and pose packs in the update. The final one isn't really a game pass, but you can buy one minute of extra time in a round, which can be super helpful. This will work similar to the custom theme props, and you can use it only once per round. You will only be able to use it before there is 15 to 20 seconds left in the round. Now onto all the new clothing and accessories we're getting. We are getting a rework of the Madoka set that is currently in the game, and it's looking so elegant and royal. I'm absolutely obsessed. We are getting a rework of the Jenny dress as well, and it looks like the bow is much bigger and more detailed, and overall the dress looks more flowy and pretty. There's also these amazing knee-high boots with so much detail, and I can't wait to style them. We're also getting a broomstick prop, and it seems like we will actually be able to fly it. Plus, there's a cute emote where you can sit on it, which I'm definitely using. And there's this gorgeous corset with lace details and of course a witch hat as well. Perfect for all your Halloween outfits. We're also getting this mask with multiple toggles, which is going to be great for a lot of different looks. And there's this adorable cocktail hat accessory that will be super cute for some themes. It looks so delicate and dainty, I absolutely love it. There's also this really cute top that's going to make you look absolutely snatched. We are getting this super cute notebook and camera, which I think should be added as a toggle to the ones that we already have. We also have this really cool hat with a lot of beautiful details. And for all the Decora lovers, we are finally getting these adorable Decora hair clips. We are also getting these antler head accessory, which is going to be a VIP item. And Zach mentioned that VIPs are getting fed in this update. But don't worry, non-VIPs are getting lots of love too. And yes, we're finally getting some cat ears and a moving tail, which is so exciting. We will likely also get all the remaining toggles that we missed in Umoye's code item. We're getting some new patterns for clothing, which look incredible, and this isn't even all of them. We have a mix of both spooky and some really cute patterns as well. The designer also mentioned we will be getting monster-inspired patterns, which is so cool. And looks like we are getting a pastel rainbow pattern as well. OMG. I know I'm going to be using these a lot. There might be a new developer code and possibly a new Robux item. We are also getting a cape and it won't be a code item. And guys, we're getting over 30 new hairstyles in this update. Yes, you heard that right, 30. Here are all the hair sneak peek we have seen so far. We have a Draculara hair that's perfect for cosplays and we're even getting Harley Quinn's hair. It's still a work in progress, but it looks amazing already. And there's also this cute curly hair that's just chef's kiss. We're also getting a ton of new makeup looks. First up, We've got these four gorgeous new eye looks that I know I'm going to overuse in every outfit, lol. There's also a sparkly eye look, which is super pretty. And we're even getting Harley Quinn's iconic duotone makeup. It's so detailed, I'm in love. There's this new face with thunder details, and it's so cool. I especially love the eyes. Oh, and this face looks so creepy and honestly gives me the chills. But it will be so handy for a lot of Halloween looks. And for all my goth queens out there, we're getting a stunning goth face makeup that you're all going to eat up. And if that wasn't enough, there's also this amazing skull face makeup that's perfect for Halloween and spooky themed outfits. We're also getting around three to four new pose packs, which is insane. One of the pose packs might be hand gestures, since we've seen these two really cute poses teased already. And we've also been teased with some hilarious new poses, which could be a reward for three billion visits in the game or part of a new pose pack. Either way, they look super fun. Oh, and we are getting this Melanie Martinez-inspired pose, which looks so sick. And it could be part of a new spooky pose pack. Zach even mentioned we might get a floating pose, which sounds awesome. He also said these pose packs might cost more than 3,000 DTI cash, 
since they are interactive and so unique. Now, let's talk about the new lobby. The amount of detail they put into it is unreal. It's stunning, and I can't wait to experience it. Here are some of the inspirations for this build, and the architecture is so beautiful. We also have this work-in-progress image. They even gave us a sneak peek of the podium, which literally looks like it's from a fantasy movie. Also, this is a close-up of the leaderboard. And the runway has all these really cool effects, like smoke and spider webs. It's going to make every fashion show feel so epic. Though I hope the smoke can be toggled off since it might cause lag for some mobile players. The dressing room isn't getting reworked much and it's fairly going to stay the same. Owen teased us with this work in progress picture where we can see some pumpkins and spider web details. During one of Owen's streams, he showed us some new obbies that we'll be getting. What's cool is that the obbies will now have difficulty levels. Easy, medium, or hard. That's going to make things much more fun and challenging. Now on to the Lana lore quests. This is going to be huge. It's a three-part quest, and we've already seen some pictures and footage of what to expect. The quests are going to be a little scary, but you can toggle off the jump scares, which is nice. This is what the lobby for it looks like, and it seems like we will need eight or 12 players to enter the quest. And I have to say this looks massive compared to the DTI bodies, and honestly looks so cool and spooky. Part one of the quest is going to take place at Lana's childhood home, where we'll have to find our way back through the forest before it gets dark. It sounds so fun, but also kind of spooky, lol. We even got a look at Lana's parents and her childhood self. Lana looks so cute here. We have some pictures on how the house will look like. Everything looks so sick and so well made. And Owen shared this where we can see which rooms in the house will be locked and which ones will be accessible. Part two takes place in Lana's childhood hospital. As you can see, there is a big picture of Lana on the side and the whole vibe is very creepy. I don't know exactly what we'll be doing here and I'm honestly a little scared, but also super excited. Part three is going to be a cave-themed maze that we have to complete. They even gave us a little cheat sheet for how to finish it, which I'm sure will come in handy. There's also going to be a special prize for completing all three quests, which makes it even more exciting. That's all the updates I have for you guys today. It's a lot to take in, but this Halloween update is going to be huge, and I can't wait to experience it with all of you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future Dress to Impress content. I currently have a permanent VIP giveaway going on in my channel. I will link the video in the decision where you can comment to join the giveaway. Good luck to all of you, and if I reach 100,000 subs by the end of this year, I will do a massive giveaway on my channel, so stay tuned. I've got so much fun content planned for Halloween as well, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.